Hello everybody and welcome to my 31st VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to teach you how to pass values into a sub procedure. Now in the last tutorial I showed you how when we're changing strings up here you can't use them down here so uh, I kind of lied a little bit and there's ways you can you get, can get around this in order to give your values of your strings from up here down into your side procedures down here. So there's two different ways. The first one I'll show you is how to pass the ver the value of a variable. So um, I'm going to start using a different keyword instead of sub. I'm going to start using a keyword called function. And you don't actually need to yet. You can do this with subs as well. But anything where anything where you're not, it's not a procedure that's going to run. So it's not your main procedure that's going to run. It's just something that's only ever going to be called. I always put it as a function, just because then when you do your uh, oh F8, it's not going to pick this one up. It's only something that can be called from your your other sub procedures from within your code. So other people won't be able to to spot these. So. And it's just kind of tidier. People know if it's a function that it, it's it's designed to be something for your code to call, not something for the user to call. So that's just the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to call it a side function, I guess, just to make sure I'm not confusing anyone. So side function, and get rid of that because otherwise that will error. And so uh, what we're going to do now then is we're going to have a string say I have been given a value in main sub and then we're going to message box that out say so this message box out the string and then we're going to call our side function and we want to pass it that string so uh, for starters just put your brackets your parentheses after your call so, uh, and then the name and then we're just going to pass it that variable but that's not going to work at the moment because this function doesn't know it's going to take that variable so what we're going to have to do is when we declare this function we need to make sure that it's ready to take that string up there so what we want to do is we want to put by val which stands for by value because we're going to pass the value of this string into here and then we're going to call it uh, a string doesn't have to match the, the the variable name up here and then we're going to put it as string so it's kind of like declaring a variable except we're putting the, uh, a by value at the start instead of a dim and then when we pass this string through, it's going to take the value of that string and it's going to put it into this function and then it's going to store that string in a variable called a string and then we're going to use well, we're going to message box it out and then we're going to change the value of it so we have changed the value of this string and then when we go back into here, I just want to message box out string again. Uh, and the reason for that is I just want to show you that we're just passing the value of a string at this time. So we're not passing the, the actual variable. So this function still is not going to have scope on this variable. It's still creating a new string. It's just that this time uh, we're, we're giving it the value that we've assigned in this one. So they're kind of linked in one direction but they're not going to get a link backwards so let's play this now so play so I've been given a value in main sub then we press OK I have been given a value in main sub and then we press another one I've been given a value in main sub and then we realize that something's gone horribly wrong and it's because we forgot to put our extra message box in so let's put in message box a string so we changed it but then we never actually did anything once we changed it uh, and let's just press play on this again so we can see it so i've been given a value in main sub i've been given a value in main sub so now we're in the side sub and now we've changed the value of the string in the side sub 
And then we've gone back into our main sub and we've been given a value in main sub. So just to reiterate one more time, so it's going, we've given the string a value, messaged it out. We've then called the decide function and passed the value of that string into here and created a new variable for this function to use with the same value as that variable. Just as a point to note, you don't actually have to pass a variable through. You can actually just type your string in here. Uh, and then if we play this, then you'll see that it's coming through as and then re renaming it and then coming back to here. So you don't actually have to pass a variable. You can just pass through a value. Uh, that's it for now for passing just, uh, one value. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can pass multiple different variables through. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.